Welcome to the House Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Western Digital MyCloud once and for all. If you've clicked on this video and you own one of these little white boxes, I'm sure you've been frustrated by it. I know I have been for years. I have a solution now that's going to take care of this thing once and for all. I've tried everything to get this thing to work the way I want it to. I've been to the forums, I've tried Google, I've hacked into the operating system, I've done pretty much anything I could think of. Now it's time to take a drastic step and make this thing really useful. I ordered this hard drive enclosure online, cost about 20 bucks. I'm going to take the hard drive out of this, put it in here, and I'm not going to have any more problems. The one drawback you're going to have using this process is you're not going to be able to access the hard drive unless it's plugged into a computer. That being said, I've had so much trouble using this thing as a network storage device. I have never really been able to get it to work reliably and consistently, especially if you're using it for what a lot of people use it for, which is to store video and pictures. There's just too much going on in here with the software. All you're going to need is a flat screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver to move the hard drive from this box to this box. It's very simple, nothing to be worried about. Let's get to it. The way this comes apart is the white section slides forward and the gray that goes from the bottom up the back and around stays in place. There's some tabs on either side here that you kind of need to pry on and there's some slots here on the top that the white section is going to slide forward on. If you're not worried about saving the case, you could just take your screwdriver, jam it in the side, and pry it off. I'm going to show you how to take it apart and try and save the case, but I don't really care because I'm never using this box again. As you can see, I had a little, few little tabs crack off, no big deal. To get this unit out, see you have some big slots here on the side, just push it to the side and pull it out. Now we just need to take out a couple of screws to take the little mini computer off of here. Once you get those screws off, you just slide it this way off of the connectors. We are going to need an additional tool. You're going to need some kind of Allen wrench. Um, I thought these would be Phillips. They might be on yours. Just need to take all these brackets and little knobs off of both sides. Now that we have our hard drive all stripped down, took all the little knobs and brackets off the side, we're just going to take our new USB enclosure, slide the back off, take our hard drive, you'll see where the connections are, and the connections here, set it down, slide it in, put the cover on. There's a spot for four screws that'll just secure the hard drive a little better. Comes with the kit. This took about 10 minutes and now I have a four terabyte USB hard drive. The enclosure comes with the USB cable and the power cord, everything you need. It even came with the screws to secure the hard drive in there. The only caveat is you may not be able to access the data that's on your hard drive. When you plug it into your computer, you may have to format it because the file storage system on the MyCloud, I believe, is EXT4. So depending on what your operating system you're running, you may or may not be able to access the files. But for me, I don't care. I'm going to plug this in, format the drive, because I just use it as a backup anyway. If you want to be able to access this, from multiple computers in your home. It's as simple as sharing the drive once you have it plugged into your computer and other computers on your network will be able to access it. Thanks for watching.